can we guess what is coming out of this bag? Yes, she is in a dust bag, not with an original box, as I've said. Do you know me yet? Do you know what colour this might be? I know you know I like black and white. <gasps> Could I be wearing the colour that I like that might match this? I'm saying too much. channel if you're new here my name is Cara and I'm from London I vlog about all things fashion related with a guilty pleasure on the luxury end of it fashion is my therapy it's my natural high so if you can relate and would like to indulge with me then like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell and follow me on our fashion fix together so how has everyone been? I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to you for a while I feel like I missed doing that so I have been well for me I've actually been completely knee deep in work, lots of deadlines and lots of stress basically and um, yeah so I thought let me take myself out of that situation for the moment and come back to my YouTube community, my Instagram community and sit down and have a little chin wag with you. So I've got my water, I haven't got a cup of tea but next time I might and I thought I'd say hi basically haven't said hi for a while we're actually where are we now we're in the last week of march the clocks went forward on saturday so we've lost an hour great don't like loot why do they have to do it on a saturday night for why couldn't british summertime start on like a sunday night because we're already in a bad mood because we have to go back to work aren't we give us our saturday hour back please so i'm quite happy because we're in british summertime and i love that because it means that we can have longer days we can go back outside who who like me is waiting to go back outside and enjoy the outdoors nice dinners or just sitting in a park or something i love personally to go to a riverside so i'm looking forward to that but i think we've got a few weeks at least to wait for the weather to warm up so today i thought i would show you what i got from bista village and before i do that i really want to tell everyone who's watching this and everybody who watched my bista village vlog an absolutely huge thank you I am so blown out of the water. I mean, I'm still new to YouTube. I've got just under 200 subscribers as of today. But the amount of views that I've had on this one vlog, I'm completely humbled. I started this vlog thinking, you know, it's a little hobby of mine. It takes me out of work rather than having to just literally give my whole self to my job and i'm really happy that other people are actually enjoying the content i provide and the comments and the dms that i get it really makes my day you know so thank you right are we ready to talk about bista village now i presume that if you're watching my video you're interested in seeing the content because i've called the vlog bista village or that you've actually clicked that you want to see the content because I've tagged the products that I'm going to show you. Or you might be someone who's looking at this vlog thinking, well, I can see that you've got some brands that you've tagged. I like the names of those, but what is Bista Village? You know, how am I to get discount off the product? And actually, I have had a couple of DMs on Instagram. Hello, if you're watching, who've asked me, you know, what is it? How do I get there? what are the opening times etc etc and people have actually messaged me from outside of the UK so for particularly those people who are looking at this let me tell you a little bit about what Bista Village is all about. Bista Village is an outdoor mall based in Bista, Oxfordshire. It's about let's say two hours in the car from London or it's about 40 minutes to 50 minutes in the train from Marlebone. And so if you're coming here for the first time and you're thinking, should I go with my car or should I take a train? The benefit of taking the car is that if you're going to be shopping, you will be coming away probably with a lot of big bags. So you don't really want to have the hassle of then taking the train back, particularly if you're leaving at rush hour, 5 or 6 p.m. to get home at a decent time and have your dinner. You don't really want to be clanging shoulders and having to fight with all of your bags 
in a very condensed British Rail train. So if you are expecting to buy bags, shoes, coats, you know, of said size, then I would recommend taking a taxi there or get a car. If you are expecting to buy a lot of items, then take yourself a little mini suitcase. You have complete hassle free when you're going on the train. If you want to avoid the queues or midweek, if you can, it is such a busy destination spot. You will find a lot of the higher names are only at Vista Village, particularly in Europe. In terms of price, you will see up to 40% off, or if you're a VIP member, you can get another 10% off, depending on the brand. Many boutiques, not necessarily the higher end ones, more like the Reese level of the village, they will offer full price as well as off price. So not everything in Vista Village is at a discount. You will also see full price styles that you can find in the main boutiques elsewhere. So don't be fooled going there and everything's on discount. It isn't. Just be savvy. Look at the tag, ask questions, just say, you know, is this full price? If it doesn't have a lowered price on the tag, then you know it's a full price item. I tend to tie in the visit when I have a appointment with work, so it's always en route. For me, it feels like such a journey to go there just to go to Bista Village, but I end up using it to half my journey by having a meeting and then seeing the village afterwards. I hope if you haven't been to Bista Village, you get to go, because if you are like me, I don't only like designer luxury items, but come on, if you like, designer luxury items you're gonna like to find a bit of a bargain aren't you the vlog that i did at vista village i think it was about a month ago now i'm going to show you what i bought basically and when i say i'm so happy that i found what i found as i alluded to in that vlog which i'll put up here i'm really chuffed because i don't go to vista village thinking i'm actually going to find something that i want you just never know it's off price designer luxury product so you are going to find products of your favorite brand in there but you don't know what's going to be in there so i'm really happy that i found what i found because i was going to buy a couple of things at full price but i found an alternative that does the same job as the full price one for less price i think i got it for about 40 percent off so let's get into it and have a look and see what i bought so item number one is coming up Okay, so on to the first item. Now, before I get into it, how many of you, ladies and gents, say to yourselves, right, I'm going to Vista Village, but I don't expect to buy anything today. Or, I'm going to Vista Village, but I'm not going to buy anything today. I'm just going to have a look. Because, although I like shopping, I try to save as much as I can. And when I do buy something, it's because I have saved enough money to afford to buy it. Now, I did say this in my first vlog, Everything that I buy, I buy myself. You know, I don't have it bought for me and I don't want it bought for me. I don't want to be spending somebody else's money. Because I actually work in fashion, there's something about just the joy of buying my own items. You know, I feel quite chuffed that, all right, I've worked hard, saved up for something and I've bought it. Perhaps sometimes when you see all of my shopping vlogs sort of condense into one playlist, you might think she's shopping all the time. No, I'm not. I might be looking all the time, but when I film, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm there every single day. So. With that being said, I'm going to lead you into my first item. I bought a few items that day. So our first one is from Christian Louboutin. And if you saw the vlog, you will see that I went into the store twice that day. This item wasn't actually something that I intended to buy. So as I've just said, you tend to go there with an intention, I might just have a look, you know, I might just have a little mosey, you know, I like to have a look and see, maybe I'm there for someone else, or I've got to get so-and-so's birthday present, not for me today. But ladies and gents, if you're watching this, and you do like your luxury designer goods, and you see that there's a sale on the item that you might have a little twinkle in your eye for, it's a little bit difficult to resist, isn't it? So here we have Christian Louboutin bag. Now, the story behind this, because I do like a bit of story time, who doesn't? It's not just about, I don't like just saying, oh, I'm going shopping, I'm going to show you what I bought, follow me, let's have a look at the unboxing a few weeks later, that's it, job done. I like to talk about my products, and if you don't like that, you can skip on if you want, but I do like to appreciate what I buy. So without further ado, let's unveil her, shall we? 
so I went into the boutique, I was looking at all of the iridescent items, they have so many iridescent shoes at the moment from last season and they had the iridescent leather sneakers which I know that one of my friends would absolutely love. So I was looking at that and then towards the corner of that store they had a lot more of the hardware, the silver hardware, the more studded and rock chick vibe and I love a good stud and I love a bit of a rock chick vibe. One of my favourite brands is Alexander McQueen as I've said in this vlog up here. So when I saw this item I tried her on but I didn't buy her straight away. I wasn't really there to spend for myself so I thought I'd just try it on see how it looks but yes I came back for her didn't I so let's have a little look come on for those who know me already I think you're getting to know me aren't you I do like the packaging on luxury designer items I mean it's just stunning red ribbon to denote the red soles it's actually quite heavy so let us unveil shall we and also my shoe size is quite small so i'm not always very lucky to find my size in this village so when she said she had two pairs i thought can you just hold the one in the back that's not been tried on i will come back and yes i did come back at the end of the day i didn't want to let her down either way i would have come back even if i wouldn't have bought the item and yes i tried her on with fresh eyes and i said you know what i will get a lot of wear out of this because they look absolutely comfortable they were as well let me show you what's inside it's always a balancing job isn't it this did you make any guesses from the vlog when i did it before did you see i tried on a few different styles what do you think I bought? Ooh. Hello there, darlings. Actually haven't unboxed her since I bought it. I've been saving this moment just for you and I. And there they are most beautiful sandals ever. Now, as I said, when I tried these on, they're so comfortable. Let me take the tissue out. Obviously, there's the whole trend that has been for already at least two years, the dad sandals. So we've got the, the sheep rays from Hermes. We've got the Chanel dad sandals. There are so many high street brands doing them as well. You know, they're everywhere. And I haven't really been one to jump on the bandwagon, especially the dad sandals from Chanel. I know they're so, super, super popular, but it wasn't something that I ever wanted to wear. I didn't really like them at all, sorry. But I have tried them on since and the black pair with the turn locks. Okay, that's a, just another vlog, isn't it? But yes, let me show you these. What do we think? Now, let me show you the profile. It's a flat sole with a rubber. Oh, it's a flat sole made out of rubber. Then you have the insides and the upper and the outer all in leather. And from the from the side view, you can see how spiky those spikes are and one thing I was thinking I shouldn't buy it for is in case I start slicing my own feet out when I'm walking but actually no that shouldn't happen because there are no studs on the inside of your feet. Usually I have got a pair of um, spiked Pigalle shoes from Louboutin. Again I haven't grazed my feet on those but there are spikes on the inside of the shoe so you do run the risk if you're walking to accidentally clip the inside of your ankle and I haven't done that yet so the reason I bought these is because I loved the silverware on it it's I'm sorry Louboutin I love you but it reminds me of McQueen as well and I do like a bit of McQueen as I've said look at the condition actually let me show you a close-up of these shoes they are brand new. You, can, you can't even see that anyone's worn these shoes. Considering they're off-season, 
they would have come from the boutique the year before or half a year before depending on what the season is when it was sent here and they would have been sent to Bista Village to sell as an off-price product but I'm quite chuffed you know that it looks absolutely pristine you can't if you look at how the shine touches the soles you can't see any indentation of anyone trying these on now let's get to the soles that's what it's all about isn't it well apart from comfort with me look you've got the Louboutin in red rubber that's the other reason why I decided to buy these because unlike the normal collection of footwear that have the leather red sole when you wear the leather red sole you will graze it will peel off after long wear I've got a pair of black pig girls who that I wore to death when I bought it years and years and years ago and most of the red has come off apart from the very tip of the toe which is great because when you're walking it does still flash the red I do need to get that to the cobblers actually but with these because they're rubber it's really good value for money with Louboutin because that won't peel off at all it will get dirty but you'll always have your red sole you don't need to pay a cobbler to go and resole it for you so yes there they are and let me tell you a little bit more about the functionality of them so you have a velcro front like this which I love because as it's a new shoe I probably will need to give it a lot more give before I actually start tightening it up and then at the back you have the adjustable heel grip and it's got a good amount of a good length of velcro so you can adjust it as wide and or as narrow as you want and on the toe as well so it is literally like a functional dad sandal I think it's because I hate the phrase dad sandals I can't shift the whole I'm going to wear socks with my shoe but I know there's so many girls that make that look cool I don't think I could so I'll be wearing this without socks bare feet all black probably all white black and white in the summer I think I can get a lot of wear out of these and I hope it stands the test of time I'll do a little review let me actually tell you the price that I paid for them so here is the card with the receipt inside now it may not tell me the original price it will tell me the price that I paid so I'll tell you what it's called it's called the Spikita cool they are cool flat napper in black and I paid they split it between tax and everything I paid 515 pounds and I know that it was 40% off. I'm really happy about that. And considering I'm not really a huge fan of the dad sandals, I wouldn't have paid double the price or even more on the price to get a Chanel pair when I'm not so keen on the shape. This to me is half the price or even more than that of one of the more iconic dad sandals, but it's more my style and I love the red underneath. And I think it's just a generally gorgeous black shoe. So what do you think? Do we like this or am I a little mad? I bet a lot of people say, oh, why did you get the spikes? They're going to hurt. Actually, when you see the spikes close up, they're actually rounded. Can you see? They're not very, very, they're not point, they don't hurt, you know, they're all soft. They're all quite smooth, I should say. So yes, that's my first pair of Mr. Village item number one and then what we did did we have lunch then or before we had lunch just before and as you leave the first part of Bista Village it depends what end you come in to be honest with you if you're coming in from the end where the trains start then you've got the likes of Coach, Jimmy Choo oh my god did you see that sparkly hoodie I didn't end up buying it in the end I preferred the white instead of the black I mean the black it's okay but the white with the silver sparkles the chew did you see please go and have a look it was just over 300 pounds I loved it but for that price even though it was on discount I thought there is no way in the world I'm going to avoid getting makeup on it so I, I resisted the temptation and I'm glad I did because I ended up paying £200 more for a pair of shoes I'm going to get so many days and nights of wear out of. Louboutin is at the middle strip and that's when you start going into the higher end brands so 
one of my favourite brands in Vista Village. In fact, the reason why I like going there is because I have the most incredible essays in there and we always talk to each other outside of the store. So we have a, a very nice relationship and I recommend to do that with somebody that you feel comfortable with in a store that you like to buy from because then they'll always say, look, I know you like this. What do you think of this? We've got this coming in next week and stuff like that. I knew when I went into my favourite store, I would see something that I liked because I had already spoken to my essay at the time. The store is undergoing an absolutely huge renovation so i hope you saw the vlog because the walls are currently boarded up and they have the most beautiful white backdrop with all of the twirls of masterpieces just on the wall they usually use that backdrop when they're refurbing anyway there was one in paris last year so anyway rambling on i'm leading into dior right then so item number two is from my most favourite brand in Vista Village. It is, of course, Christian Dior. Now, this packaging is last year's packaging, autumn winter packaging. Actually, not last year's. I keep thinking we're in 2022. We're not. It's April next week, Cara. Come on. Right. This is autumn winter 2021's packaging packaging is beautiful doesn't matter to me that it's last it's two years ago's packaging at all when they hand you a little bag like this with something that you bought inside it really doesn't matter what season the bag is does it it's just Dior do the most loveliest branding and the most loveliest packaging ever 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 now we have a lovely Dior ribbon here I do like to keep these ribbons. What do you do with yours? Do you keep yours? Or do you tend to put your packaging in the bin? Do you actually keep your items in the packaging? I know I've asked this question before. I must have done. I should do a whole vlog on packaging. I like it that much. So what do we have in here? They did try to put the stickers, bless them, to keep the bag closed. But one thing I, I just remember to tell you in... Vista Village, you don't always get the original packaging that the item comes in. So in here, which is why the stickers don't close, is a fabric bag, a duster bag, not the box, which is fine. I don't mind. I'm a fan, a huge fan of Christian Dior. I absolutely love the products. I love the romance behind his collections. I love the hourglass silhouettes that he designed on. I just love the fact that it's all about the nipped in waist and the fluted out silhouette on the hips. No matter what, that's the iconic Dior. However, talking about iconic Dior, one of the iconic Dior bags I never really jumped on the bandwagon for, and I'm glad I didn't, because I really have grown to appreciate the bag now. It's not something that was in my remit before. I was thinking, oh, I love Chanel and I really aspired to own a certain type of bag from Chanel and God willing I worked hard and I could afford to get the bag that I wanted from Chanel and then I thought you know what I should get something from Dior because I really do love the notion of the brand the ethos of the brand and Rather than get the actual bag, I've gotten something a little bit different. And now, without further ado, let me give you a grand reveal. Can we guess what is coming out of this bag? Yes, she is in a dust bag. Not with original box, as I've said. Do you know me yet? Do you know what colour this might be? I know you know I like black and white. <gasps> Could I be wearing the colour that I like that might match this? I'm saying too much. Inside this dust bag, we have one of the iconic bag shapes, but in a belt bag. Oh my gosh, look at her. This is the most beautiful pink. I've said in previous vlogs, when I, whenever I film Dior, that they do some of the most loveliest pink leathers on their bags. 
but I tend not to buy their bags, particularly the current season saddle bag, which is the most perfect pink for me because the colour of the Dior D is in gold and I know everyone loves gold but I am a silver girl or a white gold fan so if they did that same bag but with a silver D I would have been all over it probably and I wouldn't have bought this but I love the fact that you've got a matte finish it was from the matte Dior range last summer when you had the whole matte black launch of all of their iconic bags so this is the saddle belt bag because you have a grow grain Dior strap that can go around your waist or your hips but let me tell you why I bought this I don't like wearing belts okay I don't like wearing belts on my jeans or belts on my hips because I'm quite curvy so I don't really like the restriction on my hips I would wear a belt on my waist and waist a dress you know for example or a blouse and blues on it if it sits on my waist so I bought this saddle bag for the fact that I can actually wear it as a cross body because what you have here at the back are little d-rings basically you know they can sit away from the bag and I'm going to buy myself at some point a Christian Dior strap you can have two different types of straps you've got the really wide one which says Christian Dior very very beautiful but they're not adjustable or you can buy the narrower straps which still say Christian Dior I do like the wider one because it would make such a statement at the back of a plain white t-shirt but if I bought the adjustable one then I can adjust it to have it sit lower on the crossbody so I bought this as a crossbody bag where I will remove this strap and buy another strap but in the meantime let me show you what she is all about so it's a magnetic closure as you can hear the magnet is just here and here so you can hear it pop closed you've got all of the beautiful saddle accents actually if I remove this because it's actually not supposed to be there isn't she beautiful? I mean, look, if I pretend you have the belt on, it's so clean, very, very clean. Yes, it's very thin. And no, you can't fit an iPhone 13 Pro Max in there. But I don't really put my phone in my bag anyway. I always hold it or carry it in my pocket. So for me, I'm not buying this bag for the functionality purpose. I'm buying the bag because I wanted to have a saddle bag in my collection, but I didn't necessarily want to have the bag. I don't mind having the belt bag instead. And the pink is what really sold it for me. Isn't she lovely pink colour? I mean, look at the condition of the calf skin as well. It's just stunning. So inside you have got suede natural suede from the calf skin and as i said it is very small inside i don't really want to shove a lot of things inside her anyway got authenticity card you do have the christian dior label on the inside do you know what i would put in this i'd put a key a tissue my oyster card and probably that would be it and my payment card, I'll just take a card. I wouldn't even put a card holder in there. I don't think you need to. She's pretty much a card holder herself, isn't she? She's so small. You're not gonna buy her for the functionality point of stuffing everything, your Tom, Dick and Harry in your bag. If you wanted that, you can buy yourself a bigger bag. So yes, what do we think? Do we like her? Is she on your radar to have? Do you have her already? Actually, if you have her already, what do you put inside? Do you just wear her as an accessory with nothing inside? Or do you try and put little things inside there that you don't really want to carry? I'd love to know. Yes, I'm quite chuffed. The thing is, I am looking at the saddlebags as well, but I don't need one. I don't need one. Shush, I don't need one. Oh, oh let me show you this. The belt itself is lovely i mean come on I, as soon as i took this out i went straight into telling you that i wanted to buy a strap but let's give this little strap some credit shall we she has got her own christian dior i mean if this was an adjustable lovely long belt i wouldn't need to buy an extra strap i just felt i mean 
I mean, I could be wrong. Once spring starts properly and the weather turns for the better, I might actually just try her on again and see how I might wear her as a belt bag because I'm sure the straps are going to be the same price as this. So <laughs> let me show you the price of this now. So in here we have the receipt and the saddle it's actually called the SLG Saddle Pouch in Calf Skin. So the price of the bag after discount was £943, but because I'm a VIP member at Best Village, I get an extra 10% off of that. So with the saving of £94.30, I ended up paying £848.70 for that bag. Yes, yes, I know it's a lot of money for a belt bag, can't even fit everything in there. But if you are a fan of Dior, Chanel, Gucci, you are paying into your thousands, even for a very small mini bag these days. And for 850 odd quid for a small bag that I will totally ensure I give her a lot of wear. I'm quite happy about that. Right, now onto our final item. And I am so excited to show you this. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one. Are we ready? Let's go. I am so in love with this item. I cannot even deal with it. I cannot condense the love that I have for this item enough to feed it into this vlog without it being too long. So as much as I want to over talk this item, you're just going to have to go with me. I have been in love with this particular type of item from Dior for absolutely ages. And I'd say I'd love this item even more than the saddle bag, which is such an icon of Christian Dior. This item that I bought in Vista Village is one of the most used products that I've seen of late. I know that sometimes people think, oh, is it on its way out? Is it a staple? Is it a classic? Can you call it a classic item? Does it stand the test of time? Is it worth it? So I'm going to show you her and then I will talk to you about all of those things. Oh my gosh. Who the hell do I think I am? I'm sorry. I think like that when I buy something that I'm in so much love with, I just think I can't believe, you know, I'm very thankful. It's too good to be true kind of thing. So yes, here we have another Dior dust bag, but this time it's a bigger one. And I'm sure if you saw the vlog when I went to Mr Village that day, you will know what I bought. I've talked about it so much in the beginning and during the middle of the vlog. So if you haven't seen it, I'll put it up here. Please have a look and I will show you what one I decided to go with. So the item in question it is a bag. Oh my gosh. Let me just show you first. She doesn't need any more words around her, I'm afraid. She's just, she'll just take away the beauty on her own. Here she is. Very big duster. I do like seeing when you lovely people on YouTube unbox your items and then the, suddenly the tissue's opened or the dust bag is unraveled because it's all about the next bit. What did I get? What colour have I bought? So for all of you who are a fan of this or a fan of Dior, are we even ready? I don't know if I am. Oh my gosh. Here we have, I'm hushed again, one of the most beautiful Dior book totes. Now, enjoy looking at her for now because I don't need to talk lots when you're looking at her. Brand new, still collapsed from the stock room, hasn't been opened out yet, hasn't been tried on by anybody. Super duper new. Oh, look at the colours of the pink. Right. Now, for everybody who loves the Dior Book Tote, 
let me tell you about Dior Vista Village, okay? In fact, let me put her down for a moment because we need to talk some serious talks now. If you love the Dior book tote, then go to Vista Village, okay? Because they have such an array of book totes. Not all the time. Not all the time might you say, oh, she said they're going to have a lot of versions of it, okay? I don't work for them. I don't know what they have coming in next week. But every time I have been, there is always a lovely assortment. You might have black, you might have nude, you might have pink, you might have the floral of uh, summer from before, you might have the the autumny le autumny autumny autumnal leaves of the autumn from before. You don't know what you will find until you get there, but let me tell you about this particular one. So this is the, I can't remember what they called it, it's probably on the receipt, but this is the book tote from last summer, or even the summer before, to be honest with you, because I have had my eye on this since it came out, and I'm losing track of which year we're in because of COVID and everything else. But this particular style I have had my eye on for so long, and Vista Village did actually have this, on offer in their stores even last year, October. But the main reason why I didn't buy it back then was because, I'll show you actually, let me open this up, let me open the base up a little bit for you. The reason I didn't buy it before was because the original one, in fact, I'm going to show you what it looked like without. Bear with me a second, please. Right, if you went into the store, say last year, October, or even earlier, it probably was in there last summer, to be honest, I can't really remember when this one came out. This is what you'd have found. You would have seen this beautiful, beautiful bag. Let me hide my arm from the back. You can see the back of my room shining through the holes now. Can you see? Yes. So they did sell the bag like this, but it didn't have an insert inside. So if you look in the inside now, it's completely empty. And for the price that they were offering back then, which was 1,900, I was thinking for that price, I'd rather save up for a full price one, which is more solid because why I liked this, it's like a basket weave, it's see-through and it's see-through at the bottom. So unless you actually have a bag insert for this, Everyone, including your dogs, will see what's inside your bag, which I don't really like. I didn't really that like the idea of because I'm in London. I don't really want to sort of show what's inside my bag at any point in London. I'm all for longevity and test of time, as I've said in my train of vlogs. If this is open out and it's a proper bag and I've been wearing it for a while and I didn't have an insert, although the base is lined, the sides aren't so over time I was afraid that the base would eventually sag the other way like as a curve because it's not strong enough it's just sort of built to have like even a beach towel or a beach bag so I didn't buy it back then because I didn't want it to be a beach bag I wanted it to be you know a crook of your arm spring summer that's all bag basically and then when I went to Mr Village last month I knew this was in there, but I didn't realise it was the one with the insert. So I'm going to put the insert back in because I have to show you her in, your, in her full glory. For all of you who might want one, I'm hoping you get to get, get one, basically. So let me show you her with the insert. Now, here she is with said insert. You can see it's a much more wholesome front bag. You don't have any worry of being see-through at all. So my hand is now in the insert. You can only see the insert, you can't see my hand. Plus it gives her an extra bit of oomph at the bottom. You know, everything will go inside the insert and not inside the bare bag. This is how she looks from the inside. And may I say, the insert alone could be like a clutch bag. I'll take her out in a minute and show you. Oh my gosh, it's just, I'm so obsessed. So in the insert, she's beautiful. You've got a very well-made, worth the money, in my opinion, 
liner for your bag you've got one two three four compartments and then you also have a zippered compartment come on the nature of this bag is to be open you don't have a popper it's not going to close so if you are walking in anywhere that's busy any city in the world you don't really want to be on your crook of your arm that's going to obviously be behind you you don't want people to sort of be dipping in you know oh what's no i'm actually not going to see that it's behind her Let's see what she's got inside or you just don't want prying eyes okay so you put your prize possessions in the zipper section look at how big this zipper section is look and it's got the oblique all over it i'm just so in love this is the one time i love gold trim it's completely trimmed in gold with the zip and may i say this is a medium size book tote in dior they did have mostly the medium size not the large or the small but they did have the narrow version of this one which is like a mobile phone bag i mean I don't know what you're going to put in there. I won't put my mobile phone in it. Look at the insert on her own. Look, you can just wear it as a clutch. You could even put your iPad in here and you can just go to a little snazzy meeting for your, your business or something. If you open it up on its own, look at how much space you have. So... It, I love it. I think it's a bag in its own right. And I actually would wear it as a little clutch. Just like to, you know, just hitch it up there for an evening. Why? Absolutely not. I'm so chuffed. So, so chuffed. The actual oblique is embroidered in a satin thread. So as you move this bag, there is a lot of life to it. There's a lot of shine on the actual oblique. It's very luxuriously made. Oh, it matches my nails as well. I'm just so happy. I'm so over the moon. And if you saw my other shopping vlog, which was done, I'll put it up here actually. Let me show it to you from my phone. The book tote I was saving up to buy before I saw that Vista Village had this one is, let me show you that reflection. This is the current season baby pink number. Can you see that there if I go in closer? And the colour of this is powder pink and it's called the Dior Jardin Botanique Embroidery Medium. So if you like that one, I might as well tell you the price. Why not? 2650 So I loved that. But the reason I didn't buy that bag is when you look at the... Let me show you again. When you look at the close-up of this bag, it's beautiful beautiful colour pink if you're a pink fan like I am you know awesome but when you look at the embroidery I sorry I'm trying not to get the reflection of the light in front the embroidery is beautiful and what I liked about this one is it's got black embroidery I could pair it back to a lot of my black items but my favourite favourite pink bag book tote is this one from last summer this is the toile de joy one but the reason i didn't buy this is because it's pink and white and i just didn't want to get it grubby i couldn't deal with it getting all grubby and i loved the attention to detail with the tiger there so my preference would have been the embroidery of the toile de joy but with black embroidery i love this but i just think the embroidery compared to the one i just showed you wasn't as special oh I'm so sorry. I mean, if I could buy them all, I would, but I totally wouldn't. I mean, who needs so many pink bags? I do. <laughs> right. So rambling away. I'm happy with this because this can go spring, summer, autumn. Probably wouldn't wear it in winter anyway. There is another one that I like. Oh gosh, that's a whole different vlog. So let me tell you the price of this one. As I said before, it was on, I think it was 30 or 40% off. So the price that I paid that was discounted was £1,755. Now, if you bear in mind, the full price ones I've just shown you are £2,650. That's a pretty good saving. Plus, I got an extra 10% off because I'm VIP, so I saved another £175.50. And the price I ended up paying for this bag was £1,579. 
and when you think about it you just need one really you need you, you don't need anything come on let's we don't need these things but if one would like to have a bag of this size and one would like to buy a dior one then one would purchase a possibly one if not two max on this size i don't think we'd need more than one medium book tote in our lives really because it holds everything unless it was a season seasonal color and of which they do so many how does one choose anyway that's another vlog as well so i am super super chuffed at this item what do you think is it something that you were expecting that i would have shown you did you guess i know a lot of people have dm'd me on instagram to say what did you get when are you going to show me the unboxing so i've shown you and i'm really happy to show it to you because it's something that i've actually been wanting for a while so this wasn't a splurge i went to Vista village thinking if it's there it's there and if my essay showed it to me on one night and i turned up the next afternoon it doesn't mean it will be there they can't hold anything there unfortunately so, so yes so that's it really what do we think could you leave me some comments let me know what you think do you think i've made some considered purchases here i don't think i splurge maybe the shoes were a splurge mind you how many black sandals does one girl need really but i hope you liked what i've shown you today i hope you enjoy going to vista village if you're planning a trip soon and for all of those wonderful people who've messaged me abroad who don't live in the uk try and find a, a time when you're visiting travel up to vista village go and have a look if you appreciate these brands and you want to see what you can find i guarantee you will find something for yourself just don't do what i do and say I'm not going to buy today. I'm just going to have a look because it never happens, really. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely love talking to you. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And until next time, I wish you a fabulous week. Stay safe and well. And let's hope when I speak to you next time, we're going to be in a sunny, wonderful day of spring. Take care, everyone.